right, welcome to my apartment. Hello everyone, welcome to my apartment tour video. If you don't know, I'm a student at UCLA. I'm going to be a junior this year. So this past year, I've been living here in this one bedroom apartment. It's right near UCLA. I am finally getting around to the long awaited apartment tour video. I filmed a move in vlog and like me kind of like decorating the apartment, but I never actually filmed a full on apartment tour. And now that I'm moving out, which I know it's crazy, it's already been a year. I'm moving to a new place. It's just a couple streets down cause I'm still a student so I'm still gonna be here near UCLA. But yeah, um, before I move out of this place, which I will be moving out within the next week, I want to show you guys around. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more. I create a lot of college and lifestyle content. You can also find me on TikTok. It's at score under ZZZ. And since I'm moving, you already know we're gonna be having a lot of moving vlogs coming up, lots of exciting things. So yeah, um, I think that's all I have. Let's show you guys around. So welcome to my apartment. When you first open the door, you are greeted with the living room. I would say the main thing that's the focus of the room is this beautiful collage wall right here. This is by Tezza. This is the Tezza Dream Collage Kit, and I, I'm obsessed with this thing. I brought it from Seattle. If you don't know, I am originally from Seattle, Washington. I had this collage wall up in my room in Seattle, and I loved it so much, I was like, I'm gonna bring it to my apartment. So I took it down and then brought it back here and put it up. I love it. It's a great way to add some color. It's great for my backgrounds for my YouTube videos, for my TikTok videos. It's also great because this past year since school has been virtual, you know, we're always on Zoom or just like online video calls. So it's a nice background to have when you are calling with people. And you know, as you're studying, just it's nice to have a little bit of color to um, get you through that studying. Next over here, you'll see I have an LED cloud light. I got this off of Amazon. It was super affordable. I will link it down below on my Amazon shop page. And actually a lot of the room decor pieces I got are off of Amazon, so I'll make sure to link those down below. Speaking of Amazon, these butterflies on the wall, they are also from Amazon. They're just little plastic butterflies you can stick to the wall with adhesive. Um, super easy. I just thought it'd be a fun way to tie in the pink. We've got some beige curtains. These I actually installed after I moved in. I went with beige because I was just thinking of a neutral color, but honestly for my next apartment, if I need to buy curtains, I might do like a pink. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I definitely need to install curtains because this is a huge window and originally when I moved in, there were no curtains. So my next door neighbors could literally see into my room and see everything I was doing. Um, so I ordered these again off of Amazon and they were super super affordable especially for curtains like curtains can get really expensive now moving on to the kitchen a room I spend a lot of time in there's not much to show it's your average kitchen we've got a stove top we've got the microwave oven I don't really bake so I never actually ended up using the oven um, something I like about this kitchen is there is a good amount of storage space so there's a good number of cabinets because there's no like actual physical pantry that's just dedicated to food there is a little mini closet which I'll show you um, but I don't keep food in there I keep mostly like paper towels and like extra boxes and stuff like that. We've got the fridge over here, the sink here, dishwasher. I like how big the sink is because I know some apartments, like my friend's apartments, most of them are like a one section sink, but this one has two sections, which is nice. And then I also installed a purified drinking water faucet. So basically it's an under the sink water purifier. That way I can just get drinking water straight from this faucet and it just makes it a lot more convenient versus like going out and buying bottled water or like refilling a Brita every time or something. And again, got the under the sink water purifier off of Amazon. <laughs> As you can see, Amazon is like my my bestie. I don't have a ton of kitchen appliances. I just have one pot and one pan, um, but these pots and pans are amazing. They're basically the same thing as the Always Pan, which has been super trendy. They're non-stick, non-toxic, all-in-one pan, and yeah, they've held up for the whole year. They're still in great condition, and I just need like the one pot and the one pan for myself, and I love it. I use them every single day. And then for appliances, I've got my Instant Pot and a toaster. Um, I didn't originally think I needed a toaster, but then your girl started loving avocado toast, so I got the toaster. And then the Instant Pot is something I use basically almost every single day as well to cook rice and quinoa and any other Instant Pot meals. So that was also a really great investment in my opinion. Over here, we've got my workspace. This is where I've spent all my time on my Zoom classes, studying, cause you know, I am a college student. And there's actually two tables. This one's a dining table. And then this one is my work desk. I did not intend on having two tables. Honestly, I would have been nice to just have one to like 
safe space. But actually something cool about this apartment is that it came partially furnished. So one of the items that the apartment already had is that table and it actually came with four chairs. Um, so I have two of the chairs there and then I have two just stored away in the closet. I use that table for different storage things like it holds all my pens, my pencils, my books and stuff. Um, and that's my dining table so that's where I'll eat. And then here is my study space. Again, got this off of Amazon. What I really like about this table is that it is a standing table and it's adjustable so you can just use the buttons. I really wanted a standing table just because, you know, especially with Zoom classes, like you're on your computer all day, every day. If I'm just sitting at my computer, I will zone out and sometimes fall asleep. So having that stimulation, being able to stand up, sit down, stretch on my legs, get the blood flowing, it's a really great option for me and yeah, yeah, the standing table honestly has been one of the best purchases I've made in the past year. And again, got this off of Amazon. It was a really great price. Most standing tables can be from like $300 to $800. Like they can be really expensive, but I got this one for around like $160 ish. It comes in a ton of colors and I assembled it all by myself. Yes, um, I'm pretty proud if I say so myself. When I'm sitting at my desk, the chair that I use, I actually have you guys propped on it right now. But it is this white desk chair I got off of, of course, you guessed it, Amazon. And again, this one was a super affordable price. I really like it and it's held up really well for this past year. I'm definitely gonna be bringing it to my next apartment. Uh, I think it gives that like nice, chic, minimalist look. I just have one little piece of decor up above the dining table. It is like this woven rainbow kind of macrame hanging thing. Got that off of Amazon and I just thought it was a cute little piece to add. You know, it has some pink, so it ties in with the pink theme. These two chairs are the ones that came with the apartment. And then in the corner over there, I actually have some workout equipment. When I first moved here, gyms were still closed. So I have some dumbbells I'd use a lot during fall quarter. And then once things are safer and gyms open back up, now I have a gym membership. So I don't really use those as much, but I still have them there just in case like I want to do an at-home workout or like I don't feel like going to the gym one day. I do have a balcony, which is nice, but I actually haven't really used it. I used it a few times in fall quarter when I first moved here. I know some people love using their balcony, but for me personally, it's not like an essential thing for an apartment over here. This is the front door This is where you guys came in from um, and then here is a little mini closet I'm gonna give you a really really short sneak peek of it just because I want to show you guys But um, just a short sneak peek because it is very messy It's just kind of my like throw all area like I just keep a bunch of my extra stuff in there like extra tissues extra paper towels um, a bunch of storage stuff. I'm a college ambassador for a few different brands, my main one being Victoria's Secret Pink. So I have a lot of goodies and shipments for giveaways that we do. Um, so I store all that stuff in there. It's really nice to have this closet so that I can store all my stuff, but it's not that organized. Um, so that's that. Over here, funny enough, we actually do have a TV. The TV came with this place, but I don't use it because I don't have cable set up. Cable is like an extra 70-ish dollars a month and I don't even really watch TV. Like when I watch TV, I watch Netflix on my computer or like Hulu on my computer. So I, I really have no need to pay for cable. So I have a TV, but I never use it. Over here, there's a little desk. This is one of the pieces of furniture that came with the unit. And then on top of that, I have my printer, which I am so glad I got a printer. I ended up needing to print a lot of different things for my different classes this year. And again, this is something that'll be coming with me into my next apartment. And then after that, like post-grad, I'll probably still use it. Got my Wi-Fi router. And then I also have a paper shredder. Um, that's something I didn't think I need, but then as I started getting mail, my mom just recommended that I get a paper shredder and I got this one for a super affordable price. So we have that, you know, adulting things, making sure that our identity is not taken. Okay, now we are on to the bathroom. What's really unique about this unit is that the bathroom sink is kind of like out here. So, you know, you've got the living room and then you directly can just walk into your bathroom sink, mirror kind of area. And then over here is a bedroom, which I'll show in just a second. Across from that is actual shower and toilet. Oh, actually also, that reminds me. If you guys saw a couple vlogs back, my apartment, I actually had to move into a temporary unit because this apartment flooded. Yeah, I explained it a little bit in that vlog, but 
I, I don't know, like I definitely want to film a story time video because it was crazy. Basically the ceiling in the living room, one day I woke up and saw that there was a huge like water puddle just like bulging out of the ceiling and it was about to cave in on me. It was so scary and it was freaking me out because there's a stream of water just coming out and it was making the carpet wet and I had no idea how to stop the water and it was like 7 a.m. in the morning so no one could come over and help. It was a mess. Turns out the unit above me, their kitchen sink was leaking and the guy just was blackout drunk. So he was not aware that his kitchen sink was leaking. So I ended up having to move to a temporary unit for a couple weeks. And then during that same time, my shower had to get fixed because the hot water stopped working. So, you know, we've had, we have had some eventful times in this apartment, you know, good times, bad times, all the times. But now let's go into the last room, my bedroom. All right, so this is my bedroom. This is the final room of the tour. When I was thinking how to decorate my bedroom, I knew I definitely wanted to personalize it. Behind me, you can see that I put up these vines. I got these off of Amazon. The whole vines was super, super trendy when I had first moved in. I know some people will do them like bunched together in the corner or something. Um, I think I might do that for my next apartment, like take these vines and put them all together in like the corner of my next bedroom. But what I did for this room is I just had them as strands like stringing down then we've got my bed this is a piece of furniture that came with the unit so really lucky that I got to have the bed already here I didn't have to set that up or anything over here you can see my two squishmallows um yes I am a squishmallow stan and then on the opposite side on my bedroom wall I have my Polaroid pictures I had a Polaroid wall in my bedroom back in Seattle Washington with all of these pictures and again that's something that I definitely want to bring over here especially now when you're in college it's nice to have pictures of people from back home whether that's friends family and as you can see I have a lot of Polaroid pictures this has been a collection that's been growing for a few years now I think it's a really nice way to personalize your space even if you don't have a Polaroid camera or Polaroid pictures you can just print out pictures from your phone and then something I definitely really like about this apartment is how much closet space I have I am a fashion fanatic I love clothes <laughs> um, that's no secret so I did bring a lot of clothes when I came here from Seattle it's nice to have a lot of closet space, especially like hanging closet space where I can actually hang out my clothes versus like having to fold it and put it in drawers because that way you know I don't have to deal with the wrinkles and like ironing my clothes or anything. I put some folded up in these fabric storage little bins that I got off of Amazon. I also really like that the actual closet doors are sliding mirror doors. It's really nice because I didn't have to purchase a mirror. It's really nice for taking outfit pictures. So yeah, that is pretty much it for my apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoyed finally seeing my apartment if you enjoyed this video definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more again as i'm moving i'm going to have so many moving vlogs coming up you'll definitely want to stay tuned for that i have some ideas already in the works for how i'm going to decorate my next apartment so lots of exciting content coming up i'll have all the products linked down below on my amazon storefront page um again i got the majority of my room decor off of amazon and i will see you guys in my next video bye